you're going to win a World Cup, chances are you'll have to be pretty good at taking penalties. Since 1990 and before this year's World Cup in Russia, four of the past seven eventual winners have had to make it through at least one penalty shootout. Not to mention in 1994 and 2006, when the final itself was decided by spot kicks. There are plenty of myths and cliches associated with penalty shootouts, but researchers are finding trends which could lead to a winning formula. Studies of international soccer tournaments have found that form counts for a lot. If a country has lost its previous two shootouts, it only has a 57% chance of winning the next one. However, winning the previous two sees that number jump to 89%. Back of the net! Good news then, particularly for Germany, with its perfect four wins from four record at World Cup shootouts. However, a group stage exit at Russia 2018 meant no chance to extend that streak. So, what's the difference between taking a penalty during a 90-minute match and a penalty shootout? So, essentially, uh, it's the same skill during a match as a penalty shootout, but the consequences obviously magnified. Uh, it goes from being a team sport to very much an individual sport, and with that brings more pressure and more stress. According to the soccer stats company Opta, since the first World Cup shootout in 1982, statistically the most successful place to score has been low and to the keeper's left. But the most commonly missed kick is low and central, with only 58% converted. Is there a particular area of the goal that has more success than others? All the research says if you go high but it hits the target, you're almost guaranteed to score. The risk is if you go high and you're not confident or don't have enough ability, it goes over and you miss. So generally speaking, for the people who don't have much confidence, uh, go low, go central. Uh, for the players who have most confidence, go high is usually a good strategy. With all the pressure supposedly on the taker, keeping control is key. An investigation into power versus placement found that of 129 spot kicks analysed from the World Cup and UEFA Champions League, the premium percentage penalty was hit using 75% force. Any less than that, and although it's more likely to hit the target, there was more chance of it being saved. While going for 100% power isn't foolproof either, statistically there's a better chance of it going in. So if in doubt, just blast it. Selecting the order of who takes a team's kicks can also play a part. Do you put the best players first and set the tone, or place them at the end and bring the game home? Some people like to have their penalty takers, their best ones, last, because ultimately they're the ones who decide the match. Uh, however, we've seen in the past, and I think Cristiano Ronaldo uh, for Portugal a few years ago was a good example, uh, he historically goes fifth uh, and they were out before he even took one. So generally speaking, we're seeing more of a trend these days to front loading, uh, building momentum, and if you're already ahead, that reduces the stress for them. There are plenty of other variables that can also affect the outcome. Which team goes first? Which end of the stadium the shootout takes place? The long and lonely walk from the halfway line. And don't forget the goalkeeper's role in all of the drama. They have the opportunity to influence the taker as well. There's no rush, but what we've seen historically, especially with England players, is they tend to go really, really quickly. Whereas if they take just an extra second or two to calm down, gather their thoughts, have a deep breath, that tends to lead to a much more successful penalty conversion rate. Penalty shootouts can create heroes and villains, and as history has shown, at a World Cup, can be particularly cruel. Often referred to as a lottery, but the numbers do show that a lot more than luck is involved to decide a winner. Hi guys, Adam here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and comment below. Let us know as well any other sports ideas you'd like us to be covering and check out these videos over here. See you next time.